Hello everyone, my name is Miss Amber. We here at New View Library hope you and your family are doing well today. We wanted to invite our patrons to join us in craft time here in this video. We uh, ask for parents or guardians to be present for this video to help if needed. Press pause at any time. So today's craft will be a flying dragon. Here's a list of materials and supplies you'll need for this craft. So first you're gonna need two sheets of paper. It can be uh, any type, any color, but just for today, we're gonna be doing normal printer paper, eight by 11. Um, we also are gonna need some color pencils or crayons, which I'll be using today, and some markers. We also need um, tape and some string. And let's uh, get started. So first we'll use um, our first piece of paper and we'll fold it in half. As we're folding it, just make sure that lines correctly and we're good. Afterwards, um, let's get um, a color pencil. And what we'll do is we'll do a light sketch of a rectangle. So it doesn't have to be big, but it does have to be enough. I just say just make it a little. And then what you can also do is make a rectangle right over it, a little bit smaller, and but a little bit longer, and right over that, like so. So, once you're done with that, um, you'll go over here to the edge of the rectangle, and you'll do a loop like that, and then you go to the next side, you'll do a loop like that. Afterwards, you're going to go to the edge of this um, part of the top rectangle, and you're going to do a curve all the way around and stop at the end of this curve. Then you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to make it a wave. So you're going to do one, two, and three. So when you have this, um, we're going to go ahead and work on the head and the tail. So you can either work on the same piece of paper or grab a new one. I'm going to grab a new one and we're just going to have this to the side. And then we're going to also make two rectangles, just about the same height of the tail of the wing and to the bottom of the same ring. We'll have it as a little rectangle, one and two. And I'll walk you through the steps about the head. So I'm just going to zoom in just so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So for the head itself, we're going to have um, you start a little bit towards the top and you're just going to take it, curve it around, stop a little bit like that, so have a curve like that, and then you're going to do the same thing for this one, you're going to curve down, stop, and then curve up, and then you're going to go back to where you just started the first curve, and you're going to curl it like that and stop right there. And then you're gonna turn it like that. So when you go up to here, turn it like that. Does that make sense? And then you'll make a little line here, and then you'll curve this down like that. As for the tail, the tail's a little bit easier. And um, we'll be a little bit more simpler. So you're gonna have a little triangle like that. And then you're gonna go to the corner of, a little bit uh, further from the corner of this triangle, and you're gonna go down like that. And do the same thing, down like that. Just make it a little bit bigger. And then you're gonna curl it down as well. Um, with a marker or a crayon, um, that's when you will use a marker and we'll make it darker and give some more detail to it. So, like so, we'll just, with our marker and go around, make it a little bit bigger, and then do that. Same thing to the tail, we'll do it, we'll turn it to this line and turn it again, like that. And then we'll go back to the body, and I'll zoom out one more time for you guys. Go back to the body. And we'll just look at it to see if it kind of matches where we're going with it. 
And then what we'll do is we'll go back to this part here and we'll darken that up again. And we'll just go over it with a marker. One, two, and three. And go to the bottom and go like that. And this is where you can start adding a little bit of detail here. We can add a line here for the wings. I like to say start at the middle of each curve and just put a little line down. And then right here, we'll do a line like that. And then you can draw little scales. And then we'll do the same for here. So we can draw some eyes for the dragon and then do little scales. Do the same here. We can fix up that and fix up this little. And then we'll draw a little scale. One, two, and three. And then it's time for the cutting part. So, all right, parents or guardians, if you can, please help. They'll be using scissors for this part. For them. Um, and just make sure you don't um, cut down the middle of this. Um, then that would ruin the uh, dragon. Press pause on this video until everything is cut. Press play again to resume the lesson. So we have the head right here, with the tail here, and the body. Well, as soon as you open it up, the body, this other side doesn't really have that much detail. So that's when you can go again, take your marker or your crayon, and just add a little bit of detail. And little lines again at the middle of the curve. It's one, same thing, two, same thing there, number three. Okay, so you can start coloring, and then we'll st we'll go into what's next. All right, so we're gonna start the taping process and basically what we're gonna do to build this up. All right, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna grab the head, and you're gonna put it right in between this part here and you're gonna just turn it to where it's something like that. It's okay if you have a piece out, uh, we'll cut it in a bit. But then you'll do is, I have a piece of tape, so get a piece of tape out and you just cut it just a little bit. So maybe just one and two pieces of tape. I'm gonna put this to the side for later. And then what you'll do is take the head again, put it at the bottom, like so. And then let's tape it one, flip it over, tape it two. And then you'll grab the tail and do the same thing. You can have the tail however you guys want it. I'm gonna have it a little bit of like that. The same thing, get two pieces of tape. One and two. And then with your scissors, again, parents help out with it if um, you need to, just cut the ends off. So that's one, and then you just cut that part there too. And we're almost, almost done. So when we'll flip it over, um, we'll put it down, and then we'll flip the wings and just bend them up. So it's one side, then we'll turn it around, and that's the other. Um, you can color this now or you can color this later, but um, we'll start with the next step, which is 
getting your rope. You're gonna put the rope. Um, you're gonna get two pieces at the ends, like so, and then the same thing again. Get another two pieces of tape, and tape one end to each end. So that's one, and then that is two. So what you're gonna do is put one of the tape ends to the side, another tape end, and you're going to slide this one in, and you're gonna stick that one onto this side of the wing. And you're gonna do the same thing for this one. And you're gonna take this one. Oh, oh that one. You're gonna take this tape and the string and tape it to the other side of the wing from the inside. So it should look a little bit like this on the inside. Or one tape's a little higher and the other tape's a little lower with the string down. And then you close it, get another piece of tape. And then you'll close the wings like this. You put a piece of tape right in the middle, in between tape and string. Then lift it up. That that should hold, and you guys should have something like this. And then you can move it around, turn it, and there you go. It's a little little dragon. Well done, you guys. You finished this project. If you guys liked what we did today, please check out these books on dragons. If you liked any of these books, please feel free to go onto our website, give us a call. We offer curbside pickup. And if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Thank you guys. See you guys next time.